Okay, so my brother is finally here. Car. I am in the back of a truck right now. And let me see if I can show you this. I got my uh, other camera rigged up on the gimbal with my monitor and stuff. Or we're going to go shoot some sick video of uh, my brother's Porsche. So check it out. What's up everybody? Uh, it's been a little while since I did a vlog. This one will be a little bit different. It's a couple days before Christmas. I have a bunch of family at my house. My brother's here with his wife. There are four kids. It's been absolutely pure chaos, uh, but fun. And uh, my younger brother's coming in town. <clears throat> he wanted to shoot some video of his car, so I'm sure we'll do that. Uh, I've got to do a little bit of last minute shopping for my wife because I'm like the worst shopper for Christmas stuff ever. Thank God for her, otherwise my kids would have no Christmas presents because I don't make time to go shopping. I'm the worst. Anyways, uh, I'm trying to find my wife something here last minute, so. I can't tell you what I got, it's a secret. But I got something. What's up, how, how are, are you? you? Good you guys to wanna you. go fishing, hit up the Captain Hook. What's up, buddy? This is the real captain right here. How are you? So one of the things I've noticed watching, walking around the shopping center is, uh, it, and brought this to, my, to, to mind to talk to you guys about, is just all, you know, all the signs and stuff like that in the windows. Everybody's competing for attention. Everybody's trying to get you to come into their store and, you know, here's their deal in their store and stuff like that. And it's no different from uh, marketing your business online uh, and digitally. Everybody's competing for attention and trying to get somebody to stop scrolling um, and keep their attention and get you to go to their website and things like that. So um, when you're marketing and advertising for your business, keep that in mind that you're competing for attention. You want whatever your message is to be enticing enough. You want your content to be interesting enough. You want the copy to be interesting enough for them to read or whatever kind of content it is, whether it's video or text or picture or whatever, that you want them to uh, stop scrolling for just a second so that you can deliver your message to them. Because if you don't get their attention, they keep scrolling and you've lost already. Uh, I had more thoughts on this. Oh, that's what it is. You only, you only got, you know, keep in mind you only got like half a second to get to get them to stop scrolling. Oh, those are nice boots. Half a second to get them to stop scrolling. Um, and then once they've stopped, you really only have like three to five seconds to keep them engaged. So, you know, like people that have their animated graphics, logos, and all this stuff going on for like the first eight seconds, get rid of it. Put your logo at the end of it. Brand it at the end once they've watch the entire video and they got something out of it and you brought them value and they see what you're all about and all that kind of stuff then show them your logo and tell them who you are and where they want to find it and all that stuff don't try to don't try to sell them up front you, they don't even know what they want to buy yet so keep it interesting up front keep their attention in the first three to five seconds and then deal with the rest of it later Okay, so my brother is finally here. Car. I am in the back of a truck right now. And let me see if I can show you this. I got my uh, other camera rigged up on the gimbal with my monitor and stuff. Or we're going to go shoot some sick video of uh, my brother's Porsche. So check it out.
Anyways, we got some super pretty light down here at this boat landing, so we're taking some beauty shots of his car. Uh, I'll post those up here, but pretty sunset. Anyways, earlier I was talking about you know getting people's attention in your Facebook ads and things like that and keeping their attention. I can't stress enough to you guys how important it is for that attention to follow through to your website. Please do not spend any money, not a single dollar on Facebook ads sending somebody to a website if the website sucks. And I know that you're probably romantic about your website and you think it's really, really good, and I hope it is, but get some really strong, true, um, feedback from people that aren't your friends and family who are gonna pat you on the back and tell you it's super awesome, all stuff like ask strangers, ask your people if you have email, like send people email uh, to your email list and say, hey, what do you think about my website? What can I improve about my website? Reach out to consultants, reach out, like anybody, look at other websites, take features from things, look at Amazon, look at Amazon's doing, look what um, eBay's doing, like try to take features from some of the big guys that have spent tons and tons of money developing their websites to work and they know it works and they look at data mimic some of that stuff because it works but make sure you have everything in place on those websites before you start sending traffic there listen guys the thing about the ads is you don't have to don't try to get them to purchase on the first ad period end of story bring some value show them how the product is going to improve their life how um give them some education about something give them some entertainment something and then you can retarget people who've interacted with that people that liked it or commented on it you can then start serving ads to the people who've actually who've already engaged with your brand people don't buy on a first impression it takes 7 to 15 20 plus impressions of your brand or your product before somebody's willing to buy it so that's why retargeting is so important you can't do it on the first impression so don't expect to um, and that's where I think a lot of people go wrong in saying, I ran Facebook ads and it doesn't work. You gotta keep in front of them, you gotta stay in front of them, you gotta be consistent, and you gotta be patient. All right, I got a little decent light. I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, share it on Facebook, <laughs> excuse me, Facebook, subscribe on YouTube if you aren't already. I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee. I'll see you in the next one.